They look so good. <laughs> He's smelling. That's the best thing I've ever had. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a man crush on this geezer. I'm yeah. not even. I'll show you. It's so delicious. Oh. Oh. You're just admiring your fish. You've got two birds between your legs. It's not the first time. Dan, you've done it. I'm He's still confused. Trying you stumped him, bro. Stunning. Welcome. You join us overseas again, and we've got a, a very special guest with us on this trip, Kem from CP Packaging. Hello, everyone. Bad boy uh, industry leader. Partner, friend, family of the page now. Fancy a little trip away, didn't you, bruv? I did, and here we are. We, together, Googled foodie meccas, right? Different places, didn't we, Dan? And uh, Copenhagen oh. comes, we, Copenhagen came uh, top of every list. Second to New York, and we're here. Now, those that know food will know that Copenhagen is famous for its Michelin star restaurants, and the overspill of that means that there's some very talented chefs that worked in some elite high-end kitchens that are now doing bakeries, Burgers, pop-ups, street food. And basically the Copenhagen food scene is electric. Gastronomic powerhouse of the game. Now, um, we've just got off the plane. Like Dora the Explorer, man's out here with our stuff. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> and we've come straight to Juno, the bakery. You've heard, you've heard everything about it. Would you spoke to Frederick? Frederick and his beautiful dog, Daisy. Daisy yeah. Hello, if you're watching this. Um, let's go in and get our first piece of Danish baked goods. I've waited a long time to say that. Are you smelling that? We haven't hey. even got in there yet. And, oh, let's just, let's, come on. There's a sweetness in the air. That is the sweetest air I've ever smelled in my life, bro. That is incredible. It's making my mouth salivate. I can't wait. The, I wish we could do a smellometer. It, it would be going off the charts right now. It's like baked sugar and syrup and citrus. It's romantic. It's it's uh it's uh uplifting um and spiritual. <laughs> Good lord. Let's get in there. Jesus Christ. Look, they've got the flour there so you can see what they're using. Floor soccer. What was that, mate? Floor soccer. Floor. Floor minutes ice and sugar. By the end of this That's trip, it. fluent. I'll be fluent in, in Danish. <laughs> this is incredible, man. Look at the uh this apple apple art. There we go. Spectacular. Like, there's a sense of respect in this place. Like, it's, everyone's speaking very quietly. It's mm. like they've just walked into some kind of bakery church or something. Beautiful Aretha Franklin in the background. This channel's got so much better, isn't it? The, 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 Immediately. The noticing things. I mm. just, um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, follow. You have no idea how much it means to us. It allows us to do more stuff like this. We're going to show you this culinary masterpiece now. That is, I can see, I've locked eyes with what I should be buying. Thank you very much. This is, uh, this is magnificent. What a place, what a, what a shop. Such an interesting vibe inside. Absolutely. People, Ken, would you like to do the honors and do the grand, look how they're stacked neatly in there, look. Oh my God. Do the grand reveal, please, please brother. Wow, so, come on then. So yeah, our so. friend, softer touch, our friend Fred, Frederick, without question, said this. They had a few baked goods in there, but he said this is the one. Now, there we have it, the close up inspection. So, it looked like a folded Chelsea one, just to touch it. Look how sort of soft it is. Nothing like a Chelsea one whatsoever. No resemblance at all. It's Citrus, fresh. It's got a slight warmth to it. Oh, wow. Look at that. A bit syrupy underneath. Come on, man, let's dive in, shall we? Yeah. Cheers, everyone. It's our first piece of baked goods from Copenhagen. Yes. Oi. You know when you just don't know what to do other than laugh at it, how good it is? Without question, I'm just gonna come straight off the bat with this. When he said, when he laughed, and said it's not on the scale, it's 10 out of 10. There's a new scale. He's so right. You kind of understand now what he meant, innit? it? Look at the delicate nature of the the folds and the bread, the tapestry of. It's just a gentle crisp at the top, oh my and a God. gentle crisp at the bottom, and then it's just like that's just fluffiness in pillow. the middle. Yeah, pillow. It's like a 
kilo from <laughs> from selfridges or something. That's like eating something that Pavarotti has written himself. Look, it has these semi sort of hard parts. Like Ken was saying, this side is just that's a 20 out of 10. That is a 20 out of 10. We've been here four minutes. It just yeah. blown my dick off. I don't know how you I don't know how you're gonna find a better bit of pastry than that. The single nicest piece of oh, What was that? Thomas curbing the shit out of his wheels. <laughs> um <laughs> They've just curbed the guts yeah, out of that. Yeah. Um, I can't put this into perspective how much better that is. I spent a lot of time in bakeries, as you can see. In fact, I feel like at some points in my life, bakeries adopted me. And that is so far beyond anything we've ever seen. It's like someone running 100 meters in four seconds. Some sort of mutant Robocop athlete. I could sit here and eat four of these in a row. And it's so sort of delicate that you don't even, your mouth's not dry and nothing. It's just so easy to eat. Should we go back to the airport? We've just done it now, haven't we? Should we? Should we go home? Yeah. I think that might be the single best, even, I'm even gonna put that into a box now, of desserts. Like, that category, I've just had the best thing I've ever had. How have we done that first, first place? Juno, is that the best bakery in the world? Are we just eating the best I piece of baked goods in the world? I think like that, I've, I'm speechless. Copenhagen, I wasn't expecting that. What a start. I know it's a bit uncouth to, when you go away <clears throat> to review the Mackies. But I just love going to try the new different Mackies because they there is so much variation. And we found that out when we went to Italy. You had chicken wings, combo boxes, really cool stuff. Totally different. They serve beer out of the tap in Italy. Genuinely nice food. Not what we get in England at all. <laughs> so, how was the Danish one? Brilliant. What did you think? Fantastic. How good was it? I had the gourmet one. It you was the, fantastic. You had, you had the pinnacle of the menu, didn't you? You had yeah. the one. I went for a double big tasty. If you want to see the review, we can't put them all on this. We haven't got enough time. But go and check out on socials. Should be there by now. Maybe not. They uh, even gave us a nice smile in there as well. Mm. Not like the one in Wood Green. <laughs> oh, dear. every place, every book, every blog, vlog creator has been here. Gasoline Grill. By concept, I think it's such a cool place. It's a, a burger shop in a working. Uh, Is that a petrol station? Yeah. The it's pumps. A petrol, it's a petrol station. Yeah, the pumps are working. So you can get a burger and fill up the car. Yeah, what a great, if you watch you fill it yeah, up your, sure. Come on, we have to do meal deals and all sort mm. of nonsense. Jamie Oliver's terrible baked goods at Shell. We don't need to talk about that. F Jamie Oliver as well, by the way. I quite like Jamie Oliver, it's just what he did for school dinners. Turkey Twizzlers, man, Turkey bring them back. Twizzler, can you believe Bring them back, man. So this is a live petrol station. Have you ever we're seen anything like, like this? We're just looking at it like, yeah, yeah, we're, like, like we're at the zoo. Look at it. Just studying it. Let's go and order some of these burgers and see if the hype is real. You know, the food scene here is thriving. How do the burgers stack up? Yeah. Come on, let's get on with it. So it's the, the, be no, the benchmark. There you go. Oh, yeah. hey. what, what is the, the best burger to have here? The number one? Uh, original burger. Original burger plus Re cheese. Original with cheese. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Is this and the it, best? It has their gasoline sauce. That's gasoline sauce? What's this? Is their, it's, their own, it's their own sauce? I think it is. It's fucking good. <laughs> is this the best burger in Copenhagen? I would say so. Do you know patty and buns? Yes. I'd say this is sort of level with Paddy and Buns. I'm not a and huge I, fan I love, of... I love Paddy and Buns. Yeah. Have you been to London? I live in London. Wicked! Are you, are you from, from Copenhagen? No, I'm from the northern part of them. Oh, wicked, uh, oh, fantastic. Just here for work. Oh, well, n nice to talk to you. Yeah, you too. I'm you looking too. forward to this burger. That's there all. we go. Secret <laughs> Thank you, sauce. Sir. So good, like, I was just saying that we sit, I've you know, been studying this now for the last couple of weeks and we thought we might be coming here. I've seen this place hundred times on different blogs, vlogs, pages, articles, and I'm sat here now looking at it. Fantastic, what a what an amazing uh, opportunity it is to be here. I just hope the food stacks up and I hope you guys enjoy the content, which is the main thing, which is why we're doing this, for you guys watching at home right now. I've got my main main man here, a top you? friend. Having a great time. We only landed a few hours ago. What, been here two, two hours, if that? I haven't recovered from the tuna at the bakery yet. Like, yeah. Everything yeah, else ain't gonna, yeah. that, would taste like a, that tastes like an angel in your mouth. I don't yeah. know what anything else can compare to that. That's one of the most special things I've ever eaten in my entire life. That's a fact. Yeah. That was a premium bit of baked goods. That was a moment. That was a moment, man. Hey, okay, okay. Oh my God, this wind. So we've, we've just dived in. Hello. Oh, sorry. sorry. Are you okay? Do you know me? No, just saying hello, just that. Oh, hello. 
we've already ripped into this. Um, honestly, magnificent. Not my favourite style. I, I like the. I actually prefer the really smash patties. It just vibes with me. I love the texture it brings, but for a chunkier smash patty, this is exceptional. And the the bun is fantastic. The goods inside are so fresh. It's tasty. It's like a homemade bad boy. Uh, th that is it. It is a it's wow. A, it is a homemade bad boy burger. Personally, me, I love a, this kind of homemade. You know, it's like a gourmet. Uh, but they describe it as a a gourmet style burger. Yeah, but a little bit of fat, but it has the properties of a smash burger. Yeah, no frills, just quality. The chips too. Look at these. Got that fat chunks of salt on there and uh, you said you prefer crinkle chips didn't you absolutely they taste different they do. I, won't, I won't hear any different they taste different these yeah. are fantastic chips he made an interesting observation earlier these so they taste like a like a monster munch well the chip and the sauce together i'm telling Oof. you it tastes like i've got, I've got a pigeon in between my legs there. no fear oh there we go you've got two birds between your legs <laughs> it's not the first time um this gasoline sauce here is incredible. It looks thick. Yes, yeah, it's viscous. Peppery, smoky, a bit of paprika in there. It's like your classic burger sauce, but it's wildly delicious. Very sweet too, and the, all the salt balances out on that umami flavor with the burgers. Gasoline grill, they're, they're, no frills. I think you get lured in sometimes, it's such an uh, iconic location being in a gas station. You think, oh, it's an Instagrammable, cool place to come and eat. Just have your photo taken. We've done it today, we've had a picture mm -hmm. here. It's a cool vibe, right? Big green, neon lit up burger shop at a gas station, gasoline grill. But it isn't an Instagram hype job. Food stacks up, it's really simple, yet very effective. Yeah. Really glad of that. But would, would we recommend you come and try this one, people? Absolutely, I would. Yeah. I'm telling Great. you, this sauce tastes like um, Mexican chili heatwave monster munch. You just fused two crisps there. So you got Chili Heat Wave Doritos and Monster Munch. He did, didn't he? Is that what he did? He did, didn't he? Mm. He did. So what does that tell you? He doesn't know anything about crisps. Fuck me, you, you, you're, you're smashing things together there, bruv. That ain't even... I'm He's still confused. trying to... You just... stumped him, bruv. Yeah, you, you have. Yeah, yeah, you totally yeah, stumped him. Got Your me. knowledge of crisps. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, basic chili Heat Wave is a Dorito, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Chili Heat Wave is a Dorito. Dan, you've done it. I'm trying to process it, but anyway, either way, it's delicious. You can hear the cogs. Lovely sauce. Turning in his head right now. Mm. Yeah. Overriding thoughts so far, Copenhagen? Sensational. Sensational. I like, I like that. No frills. It, kind of, it feels like it has got frills because of the location, but the actual food, very simple. Do you agree? Yeah, that's what I said earlier. It's, just, it's no frills, but absolutely lovely. Look at Wicked. This. So we just. Little update. We're trying to find our accommodation now. So, uh, hotels here were either. Kem, you can explain. They're either like. Storms <laughs> or thousand pound a night. Yeah. Yeah. You staying in a hostel or the Ritz? Oh, yes, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what did we get an Airbnb or like a? We've got a. Uh... Kem treated us as well. Yeah. This, this is free. This is free accommodation. Yes, it is. It's very kind of him, isn't it? Very kind. So if, you know we're gonna like it. So everyone, free. run him up for that. Yeah. Big oh. up CP packaging, Kem. So where is it, then, bro? This way. All right. Oh, oh yeah. What's up? Sorry. Bada Bing, gentleman's club. Are we gentlemanly <laughs> enough? <laughs> Are we gentlemanly enough? Shut up, bro! Bada bing? You fancy bada bing tonight? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fan what, fantastic, bro. I am happy. Yeah, look at look at these, look at these. These old, these the old, these the old streets, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. You head out the phone. Just have a, a little look where you are. Look up, look up, and be present, man. Exactly. You have to do that. Does he? We've been waiting here for a little while. He said he knew where he was going. We got roughly here. Yeah? Kevin, do you know where we're going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for something called Lone Love Shell. What are you doing, bruv? I'm dancing. That's what He's we're doing, mad, isn't he? There we go. What's that? I mean, how are you meant to spot that? He's done it. Fair play to him. So, you travel content, you get to see where we're staying. That's it. Come on. 
Yeah. We're, we're all desperate to dump bags, particularly you, Dan. You, you've got a, a, a suitcase on your back. I feel like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. What has he packed in here, by the way? Cam, you can't have more than a couple of pairs of pants in that little bad boy, that little tortoiseshell thing. I've got a pair of massive shoes. <laughs> a denim rucksack. Never mm, trust I'm a man over 30 years old in skateboarding shoes or a denim rucksack. What should I do? Take all of them? No. Why not? Is this the only apartment here, bro? Surely not. It's a fucking huge building, bro. Right? Apparently, it's a five bed, a slick apartment. Let's get in there. Let's get Whoa! In. Oh, this is nice, lads. Yeah, it's very cozy. <laughs> when I was three o'clock, we've been here since 11. Yeah. Three reviews done. Bag drop. Do you, think, do you think anyone actually wants to see this content? Hello everyone, we're in a lift. <laughs> Welcome guys. Is this, this your place? Yes, this is uh, my place in Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Okay. Is, this, is this real oak or is that a... Uh... This? Yeah, this, yeah. Is a, uh, this is a fine veneer. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, fine veneer over a lovely bit of two inch MDF. <laughs> and uh, this is a Coke Zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on then, what are we doing? That, we had a nice little stop off, didn't we? Mm. Nice little relax, washed up a little bit. Right, there we go. See if you package it big up. Okay, and we, um, we've got a couple of great recommendations to try and head to now. We don't know if we're walking in the right direction. There's a noticeable lack in taxis. There is. There's a lot of any bicycles. Any sort of transport, like, yeah, it's just hard let's to... Let's look at... That's a lot of bicycles. Yeah. We need a bicycle. You'd have him, wouldn't you? He's, I'm, I'm basically looking at his ball sack. Robert Waldo, yeah, there you go. Eight foot five. Bro. What size are you? Twelve. So that's not a small foot. No, that's not a small foot. Look how big he is. Look how wide he is. Eight foot five. How much do you reckon he could eat as well, by the way? He would beat Leah Shukkiba, surely. Would he? Leah, direct question to you. Could you eat more than Robert, Robert Wal Wadlow? Eight foot five, he's, he's got a... They have a mouth like a bucket. <laughs> yeah, look, it looks like it's, it's like down a there. Yard or something. There we yeah. go. Yeah. You see it? It's around here somewhere. There's lots of them. There's lots yeah, loads of, places. of wicked places here. There, look at this. War pigs. War Boom. Pigs. There's a lot. This is uh, a restaurant that's been. Everyone, another one that everyone said barbecue food. Um, one person said the meat was dry. Oh. I've, I've had four or five say it's fantastic though. Um, it looks great. Excited to be here. Can you smell that? Hello? Hi. It's just, I think it's an old industrial estate that yeah. they've converted to a like, wow. to like obviously a food and bar and. That classic old Range Rover, sorry. Oh, you love it. Is that the one that uh, yeah. the Queen used to bowl about in? Yeah. That's the one that a lot of people pulled about in. You just go here, grab one of the trays, talk with the chefs. Oh, wow. They guide you. Uh, I would go with the brisket for 14 hours in the smoker. Really? Center, I think, that's, that's I think we're going to try and get a tray of everything, I think. Yeah. Also, yeah, the buffalo wings also. Buffalo yeah, wings, mac and cheese, look. Mac and cheese tarts are also really nice. My mouth just actually started salivating yeah. if you were saying <laughs> that. I started looking at the menu and started like going, oh, nachos, yeah. oh. I mean, they're really nice. And then you've got a brewery here as well. Yeah, exactly. So beer, especially. We have the giant brewery here in the back. It's all through here. Wow. So I would go for a beer. I've been up since three o'clock this morning. We flew here today. So oh. one beer might get me absolutely steaming. It'd be rude not to though, wouldn't it? Yeah, While we're for in. sure. All right, let's do, should we do food first? Yeah. yeah. We'll come back in for beers? Yeah. That just looks epic. Wow. So look, we saw the ribs. I was like, the it's three of us. You think you've ordered enough? It's three of us, though. We're big, strong men. Nice. Probably only one review left today, or a couple. Like they look so good. Are you smelling it? Jesus. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's a tiny chicken. It's a color pusang. It's a thirty-five-year-old uh, chicken. Thirty-five-year-old. Ah, uh, day old. Thirty-five. I was going to yeah, say. Yeah. <laughs> so. Is this the most anyone's ever ordered? Excuse me, is this the most anyone's ever ordered? For, for one person? You want? One, two, three? Yeah. Yeah, probably. There you go. We'll eat it, that's the thing. They're amazing. The guy behind really the bar good. was like, I haven't tried the logo, let's try it together. Really? <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Wow, brother. We've just done a, a ripped review 
all of it was absolutely sensational for me other than this beef rib which is slightly as you can see overdone for my taste but came out it with a pickle and said it brought it back to life a little bit a little the, bit yeah the brisket or a finger everything bro because you're gonna have some but that is as moist and as tasty as you're ever gonna eat in all your days look at that yeah bro and then this here like this this uh full rack of ribs we've got the sausage this sauce here just great commend them on the service too really really friendly very helpful accommodating when it came like you had a bit of a back and forth of the barman yeah absolutely these lot i mean look these lot can't do more for you they walked us through all the products sauces what was what the sauces they walked me through the beer settled on their lager that they actually just installed today brilliant place man it's actually quite a nice vibe you can imagine here sort of around sort of eight mm. eight o'clock in the evening it's like pumping here isn't it loads of wicked spots good yeah. vibe interesting sap it looks like an old sort of like well we said like some sort of like manufacturing place or yeah market style thing it fits this brand perfectly doesn't it yeah it does it does wow all right this is very very good barbecue food worth a visit is the hype legit absolutely it's a real cool iconic place where they carve up the meat for you they weigh it out how you want it order what you want how you want it it's great right um score for me on this one 8.6 Really, really good. Shame about the beef rib. Beef rib's one of my favourites. Um, it's, you can see for yourself. It's just, it's gone a bit... Too far. A bit too far. That's but it. some person... That's could, how they want it. It's like a bit yeah. of a burnt end though. It's kind of still kind of mm. nice, but a bit chewy. Delicious, but a little too far for me. Like a jerky. Yeah. It's still delicious though, man. There we have it, bro. But what a feast. What a feast. A, a, a Nordic feast for kings. You smashed through that, boys. You've got to respect barbecue meat, man. Mm. I ain't even touched none yet. Oh my God, there's a wasp. Jesus, there we go. You gotta respect barbecue meat. Hours and hours to get to this point, bringing the meat alive. Um, that wasp just wants to eat, man. He's happy. Look at him, look. The mac and cheese is definitely tasty. Yeah, it's a different type of mac and cheese. <clears throat> All right, wicked. I'm gonna tuck in. Let's go. Great news, we've got actually got insight as to what this uh, facility was um, the team so helpful didn't want to be on camera uh, and rightly so I fully understood they were saying that this is a was a meat processing facility back in the day so this used to be the slaughter ring here they've got a livestock place over there they hang on the meats in and around these buildings and this was the basically the facility where all the meat would come in from different areas and uh, would get processed and distributed around mainly the pigs Danish bacon of course mm -hmm. hugely famous um, and Danny's looking left and right for all the wasps there's a lot of wasps are you okay bro? Uh, I'm alright yeah I'm good I'm good I'm good um, which is great beef pork the works wicked team he's that guy was actually from Lewisham wicked guy great to talk about their products so passionate about their food yeah. and it really comes across when you come to these places yeah. am I going to recommend war pigs? absolutely we just met a guy from Manchester who came just here for just for this place if you're catching flights for barbecue brisket you're my type of person for sure so one of the um, the, the lovely ladies in there suggested a uh, hot tip locally a little Chinese place that does pork rind pork roll rind sandwiches sandwich she said yeah worth looking at with a special Let sauce or something Oh, you love a special sauce, don't you? Go? I do. Oh. Yeah. Uh, special sauce. He does. How good is that food? The barbecue and the, the oh, pulse, the place, the vibe, everything? It was fantastic, bro. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Something about deep smoked meats cooked for extended periods of time that just break down and they caramelize, go sweet, and you know, the smokiness and the, the sauces were great. The mac and cheese was beautiful, a lovely addition to the, to the dish. Um, what a place. Highly recommend it. Certified. Officially. Great beer as well. Lovely beer. We couldn't finish our beers. Yeah, they're a bit strong. <laughs> Started yawning a bit, didn't we? Yeah. We've been up since three o'clock in the morning, brother. Yeah, we might have a beer later on. Yeah. But when we've, we've got no responsibilities, mm -hmm. then we'll get a bottle of tequila and we'll see you who's doing a zoo. Ken? Bottle of tequila? Hello. Absolutely. Dog Very friendly. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. What's her name? Hulda. Hulda. Hello. Incredible dog. You're beautiful, aren't you? Yeah, she Big is. Dog. And then our mom and dad are from Sweden, so so it's a very complicated Hello. background story. But she's been here Thank all you. her life. Hello. Look at you. Yeah, she's a beauty. <laughs> Such an amazing dog. Oh. <laughs> Look at that shot. 
Okay, so I'm getting tired now. This is this is really behind the scenes. So the shop there, it's got the grill sign there. Uh, really cool sort of Chinese guy selling Chinese stuff. But the the one thing that she recommended on the menu was this pork bun roll, mm. roll rind yeah. roll, and the pork looked good, but it was a terrible bun. The sort of bun you'd get at a terrible sort of car boot. It wasn't my vibe. Walked up the street, a lot of people, a lot of hullabaloo around this little pizza gap here. It's like sending some wicked slices. Some kind of like a flat a Sicilian type slice. But we've gone for the main pizza. The guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Seems really cool. Let's go. Could be like a legit pizza spot here in Copenhagen. It's fine though. Yeah. I'm excited for this one, man. Mm. Uh, not much to talk about there, really. Well, we just spoke to the lads after. Hopefully you've seen the review. Those young lads. So it's good pizza for the price. And I thought, do you know what? That's a, that's a real good point. We said the same. Yeah. For the money in Copenhagen, that's probably a really good spot to come and get a hot pizza. Yeah. Look, it ain't gonna get a top score from me, nah. but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna, I wouldn't go there. The same as, like, you know, it's great, like, awesome. But if I had a few beers and we're walking home, that'd be, I'd murder that. For the price, you'd have a couple. Yeah. No bother. Five, I've got to think of 5.8, you ain't gonna go above that for what, what we've been offered. But for the money. No bother at all. On to the next. On to the next. It wasn't offensive, let's put it that way. <laughs> this is fucking nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Jesus. So we're done for the day now. And we're going to go and have a beer before we go back to our accommodation and get changed before we go out for many beers. Um, but this is always nice just to decompress, right? Mm. But an amazing day. Stay tuned for part two tomorrow morning. Hopefully we won't be too husky. Ken will obviously be really going over so he can't drink for shit. Um, <laughs> is that right? We're only going to have a few yes, bits. Yes, I can. We're only going to have a few bits. Nothing too major. Um, but yeah, what an amazing place. Like, Should we this just, just take in the... It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Wave. Good wave. <laughs> Basically, we've got, the, we've got the golden hour now as well. So Beautiful. sun's going down. There's a nice vibe to the place. Yeah. Um, Very classy. Mm. Stunning. Loved every moment of today. We've still got a few good food reviews to do tomorrow as well, which is great. I just got to suppose we'll plan our route now, right, for tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. That's what this purpose of decompressing is all about. And we get another, and we get a beer. And we get a beer. All right, people, I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed today. Stay tuned. Day number two, here in Copenhagen, Cam, how are you feeling, bro? I'm feeling fantastic, mate. Dan, how are you feeling? Uh, a bit worse for wear, a little bit rogue. <laughs> we had a few drinks last night. Couple. Just um, a few. <laughs> great city, inside and out. Now today we have got some wicked reviews planned. Come with us. We're going to see some award-winning food. A little street food park, is it? Yeah. Refen. It's on an RP Kelligal. You I said didn't, all of that. I didn't know that. you could speak Danish. You said all of that with so much vigour. Right, let's jump in the taxi and let's bounce. Alright, cool. So we've just taken a, uh, a 15 minute taxi ride north to visit... Oh, sorry. Oh, I think you pronounced it Cuckoo? A gentleman called Sean. They've won best street food in Europe a few times. Local legend. Um, award winning uh, Scran here in Copenhagen. So it's got to be on our list. And I'm excited for this one. You smell that, Jesus. Oh, there's a mad aroma in here, yeah, isn't there? He says there is it. I can smell it about 50 yards back. It's beautiful. Iranian Persian cuisine. Alright. There he is. Yeah, there he is there. Cool, cool. Here we go. Wow. This is alright. Great. I'm here now. Here we go. That escalated. We've ended up filming a full YouTube video. So maybe you've already seen it or not, but it's that 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 is its own video. There's no way that we couldn't do no. a whole piece on that. I won't go into too much, but emotional magnificence. Is that a word? It is. It is. <laughs> uh, spectacular. He's a, a, a firecracker the world needs as well. Like, so yeah, let's put a bit of respect on the name. That's a full video. You're gonna enjoy that one. Like and subscribe if you haven't already because you don't wanna miss that one, trust me. Um, 
And he also gave us a recommendation for a pizza shop up the uh, mm. New York Slice in Copenhagen around the corner. What's he called? Diamond Di Slice. Diamond Slice. Yeah. And he, got, he says, can I come with you? Yes, you fucking can. Guest reviewer. Kemp, you're out. He's in. Yeah. Let's go. I'm my t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you, 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 you can just yeah. have this, brother. I'll take the <laughs> <laughs> No, we'll just do it together. He's Craig Irony, like I think spectacular. Just you, you, You'll see the content, but brilliant. Yeah, my parents and my brothers came here in 96. Political refugees, never been back to Iran. Have you never been you back? Here. No, unfortunately not. Would you go back? Yeah, I want to go back one day, but you know, got to be some, got to be a yeah. change in mm -hmm. how they do the country over there. So, so they don't kidnap you in the airport or something. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. Enjoy Copenhagen? Yeah, love Copenhagen. I, I lived outside of Denmark, like uh, I lived in New York, lived in London. Uh, but yeah, I love Copenhagen. Love, I love it as a base. Being here, living here, and then you know, traveling to mm -hmm. other country. Traveling is like my, my favorite thing to do by far. By far. I hate to see you on the How are you on the deck? Bro, I can kick flip all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the old days, it took on me. Is that you, brother? I pressed the tap and it wouldn't come back out again. Right, 25 minute walk. It was nice, get the blood flowing a bit, get mm. pumping, good conversation, and nearly poop myself like five times, that's okay. Sean, yes, talk to me about this place. So you've, this is, uh, in your review, you recommended this place. Yeah. Uh, and look at the pizza, it looks good. It's pretty good, yeah. So this, this is the best pizza in the city, Diamond Slice. This, that Diamond Slice, this is my own favorite uh, pizza, pizza place in the city. They opened under a year ago, I think. So this is a New York, huge New York slice they reheated. Got some different stuff. We're gonna get the uh, the golden golden standard and my own favorite hot honey, which is uh, it pepperoni as well. No, so just cheese, burrata, and then the hot honey. And the hot honey is, is the honey is infused with garlic. Ooh. Lads, because it's only got the hot honey. Could, could we have that? First? I don't think that's too far of a ballpark, is it? Or would the honey wreck the, the cheese? I don't think so. Do? Maybe get both. No, you said, but if no pepperoni, I think you get hot honey. When in Copenhagen, yeah. Usually, I, I eat the margarita myself here and there, whatever. But uh, honey is so is as close as possible to the golden standard that we know of. Yeah. All right. So uh, I don't think if you just want one slice, I don't think you're gonna ruin the uh, the, the standard all right. of just eating the you know the dough, tasting the dough, the cheese, and then you have the honey, garlic in the background. You've been up He's good, isn't he? He's fucking. Yeah. He's great. You done this before? <laughs> nah, not really. So it's just <laughs> so I'm just gonna have 75 more glasses of water. I also need a <laughs> drink of water. I'm going to go to the hospital for an IV drip and then we can carry on. God. You know, if I die, if I die, when I die, I want something <laughs> I, like that. Play, play, yeah. P. Diddy, P. Diddy with Bad Boy for Life. Some <laughs> down, down. There you go. Down, down. Something. This is amazing. Down, down, down. How cool is that? Yeah, that's beautiful. It almost makes you want to know a little bit about him because mm. he's got that many people there. Exactly. He obviously had a lot yeah. of friends and a lot exactly. of people loved him. Exactly. So he must have uh, touched a lot of people. Exactly. Oh. Because that's the... <laughs> dark humour. That's called dark humour there. And I didn't even... I, it was him, me, Sean. <laughs> He's blaming Sean you. He started laughing. Like. <laughs> He thought, yeah, Kem likes a bit of dark humour. <laughs> <laughs> these chairs are not built for these cobbles, are they? <laughs> YouTube, so we've ordered now, okay? We've gone inside, I look at the menu. Big slices, really big slices. I had a little chat to him as well. And he, uh, he said that the water here is very calcium heavy. I said, what's the secret of your pizza? And he said that the big secret with the good pizza is the, is the water uh, for the dough. So he's already talking very technical stuff because I know they know what they're talking about, which is very exciting for me sitting there now. We've ordered two cheese, two hot honey. The hot honey come on a, is a white pizza. So we should have a good variety for you now. Let's see how this goes. Really, really good. Dan. I, I haven't had new pizza that, that many times. This is a great example. That, yeah, because and I'm not a massive pizza person, but that that was brilliant, bruv. The cheese and the tomato and just... I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed that. 
this is a pizza you, you would only want one slice of. Yeah, yeah. It's a very heavy pizza. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, so we'll so, some of my favourite ones in New York, you could eat the whole pizza. Right. It's very light. Yeah. Same principle, yeah. slightly thinner, mm -hmm. but it's distract, detracting nothing from this. For a one slice stop, walking around, you want to get some, get some carbs in, you get some, get some energy back in the system. You ain't getting a lot better than that for, for six quid. Have you tried with the mar mar marinara? No, I'll try that now. Going to Deep City. There we go. There we go. Tangy. I love it. Yeah, deep. Wow. Enjoy that one, Cam? Yeah, delicious, mate. And I had the bite of the white, the white cheese one. The white cheese on, in the hot honey. <sighs> the, the bit in your beard. What, 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 when are you going to eat that bit? Um, just debating to uh, debating when. <laughs> Thanks for the observation. Very kind of you. That could have been there all day. It's great to see a pizza like this in the city. Neapolitan for me is, is, can be very good. We also, also got huge margin for error. It's underdone, which a lot of time it's, it's going to be sloppy, wet. You need a spoon to eat it. I just vibe with this in my heart. I just love this slice. So I've got a question for you then. So obviously they're using electric ovens there. How would it be different if they were using like a wood-fired oven? Um, I think a lot of places now quite like the electric ovens because you've got total control over your temperature. Again, these wood-fired ovens, they don't get, some of them don't get hot enough. Some of them do, but it's, it's, you know, you've got margin for error there again. These electric ovens these days are kind of amazing. So it's just consistency. They're exactly right. Yeah. And they're spaceships, bro. You can, do, you can do whatever you want with them, whenever you want, however yeah. you want. The, the best New York pizzas though have got a coal-fired huge brick coal-fired ovens which give the pizza a whole other taste and coal burns super hot yeah. so you can get this electric very thin fast cook crispy and the base is like like a cracker bro oh God. And this is where this one was is, is it's not the same right. that has properties of a neapolitan but in the new york style one a bit it's just this is beautiful but the, the true new york yeah, is yeah. slightly different yeah. the margins Oh, oh Jesus. The river is collecting there. What are they doing? They're fishing. Wow! Sorry. Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. What's happening? What's happening? I'm about to kill myself. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't even know what to tell you now. <laughs> He's having a heart attack. We're, we're, we're just actually fishing. We're magnet fishing right now. Magnet fishing? Yeah. Wow. What's happened here? Magnet fishing, though. Is that how you do it? Oh. Fish is loaded with heavy metal. Nah, nah, nah. There's a big sign down here. What's going on here? I was just talking to a couple of geezers in the river. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Lassie. Yeah, just walk fruit out, man. It's all it is. It's preparing oysters. Now that's proper tuna, that is. Wow. That's wild cool, wow. isn't it? 100%. Look at these fruit. Shark. Yeah. Look at these. Were well, they crevettes? Cre 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 it is that grouper. Oh my god. Just admiring your fish. I'm thinking of better. What is that? That is a grouper. Some sort of mag. Mag ugly glass on That thing will smash your Wow, this is so cool, isn't it? Hello. It's fucking electric. I love it. This is electric, bro. It looks like insane quality. Like, look at this. She's like, not even got a count here. They're actually like playing up some like ridiculous. She's a kitchen, isn't it? Look at these cooked lobster tails. Sous vide. Sous vide lobster tails. Wow. Amazing. That for me is the perfect thickness of steak. You can get a, a huge crust on that. Deep charred crust and all that flavour and sweetness. Yeah. Also you retain that juicy interior, interior without it oh. being compromised. You get a bit of both. And just on the off chance, we were just fucking walking yeah. past here. Just we, like, we got uh, a 30 minute walk and we thought, should we get a taxi? We thought, no, let's just walk, get some steps in again. Seeing this, this feels like a market, but like really high end. Mm. Like yeah. really clean and yeah. fresh produce, like amazing. Yeah. The, uh, the overspill from these top chefs and it's definitely running rife. 
Yeah, they clearly, the city, so. they clearly care about their ingredients, that's for sure. That's that sandwich, by the way. That's the sandwich. That's a good sandwich. Should you get one? Ribbons, ribbon stack. Yeah. This is a famous Danish sandwich. Yeah, it is. What, for what reason is the, the, the book? So, with my grandparents, when I grew up, yeah. we almost ate this. It wasn't a good thing because I grew up on the countryside. So usually, this is the most, the cheapest part of the picking. Really? 30 years ago, 20 years ago. Now, it's so delicious, it's very expensive now. So, usually we eat it for Christmas, but people eat on the rye bread as well, the traditional wow. rye bread. Wow. So, it's like every time we do like a supper or like a, like a dinner, traditional Danish, this is on table. Fantastic. And with the crispy skin, that's very traditional Danish. Wow. Yeah. So if I was to try one now, would we have the sandwich or the, uh, with, the with the rye bread? What, I would, would recommend you the white bread, the bun. Let's do that. Yeah. Do we have one? Do you yeah. want to one as well? Do you want one? Do you want to share with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut yeah, yeah, yeah. Half. Cut half. Yeah, one cut in half. That's sort of that character out of That's the most handsome man I've ever seen. Yeah. I think. Can yeah. I say that out loud? <laughs> you you look like the man from Frozen. Oh, like very handsome. Disney. No, I, haven't <laughs> seen, I haven't seen Frozen. I've never ever. You, look, like you look like a Disney prince. prince. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've never ever said that out loud to another man. But he's, this is. Uh, he, yeah, he looks like. Yeah. I've got a man crush on this geezer. I'm not yeah. even. I'll show you. He makes an there. incredible sandwich by the looks of it. Think so too. There we go, there we go. Oh, <laughs> We've seen this sandwich a few times. I always had to ask to see if it we should try it. it. Looks like one of the Collinses from Twilight. <laughs> Isn't it? Look, Where's his mate, Olaf? His mate knows it as well. Where's Olaf? It's me. It's me, Olaf. <laughs> okay, honestly, I can't, I can't look at him in the eyes. I, I feel like I'm. <laughs> look away. He's, uh, he's like a Disney f***ing prince, bro. <laughs> I've never seen such a handsome man in my life. Yeah, I know. That's incredible. It's like we're, we're looking at an AI avatar. <laughs> yeah, it's what, this is what, yeah. this is, I feel like a, this is what humans should look like. And then we've got us <laughs> looking like a hippopotamus. I feel like a fat <laughs> uh, Looking at him, I, feel like me, I never felt so sad about myself in my life. All the shape I, bet I bet he's hung like a rogue elephant as well. It's <laughs> just like, we, I think we've just found like the, mm. the, the finest specimen of a human. It's really thrown me off my. Uh... <laughs> you can't look at him, really. Nah, it's hard to look at him. He's a nice fellow, but he's pissing me off. You can't take him serious. No. Look at us. It's like an AI. Look at a fucking soup sandwich out here, sweating. Just be careful, I might charge you some royalties as well. Yeah. Okay. There, there we go. Half guys. Yes, no, can I have a photograph first and then. Yeah, sure. That's okay. No, I thought it gets mangled. That is. Uh... Oh. I actually think this one looks way better than the the other one there. Just toasted. Toasted on top, look. Salt on the skin, that looks f***ing incredible. So what is this, uh, pickled cabbage or drink? Yeah, pickled red cabbage, pickled gherkins, smoked chili remoulade, and uh, a mustard mayo as well to tell about. Oh my god, this is like my favourite side sandwich. So that's Andrew Tate. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew, Andrew Tate. Hey, top G. Vin, Vin Diesel, top G. Top G. <laughs> Yeah. Well, take care, guys. Thank you, brother. Gotta grab some napkins as well. It's coming handy, guys. Yeah, exactly. Um, here we go. Let's just rip it here. So look at that, look. Huge, huge crispy skin. He said that's tradition. Loads of stuff going on. Wow. That is a f***ing sandwich, isn't it? He's off. Go on, come on, give him. That is just absolutely delicious. The meat is fantastic, easy to bite, so you can get a bit off without pulling the whole meat out. Which right. I hate it when that happens. Mm. The pickled cucumber, the pickled cabbage, ah, the ew. mustard mayo. He's put a bit of salt in there as well. I can just taste, I'm just getting like 100 different things in one go. Honestly, for me, this is a, That's the ultimate. This is one of the best. Oh, gross. Like, this is one of the best things I've, I've bitten into. Exceptional. Oh man. The pickled, the pickled cabbage. The standard of that roast pork is exceptional. Moist, tender. The fat is perfectly uh, that crisp. The cabbage is so sweet. And the bread too is very sweet also. Which balances with a salty, salty uh, pork. 
Honestly. Fantastic. Honestly. This is up there with one of the best things I've eaten abroad. It's actually shocked me. I didn't think it would be this good. But I suppose when you're getting served by a fucking yeah, Prince, Prince Charming. fucking <laughs> Charming over there. I've never felt so inadequate in my life. Mm. Wow. Traditional dish too. We grew up eating it. So this is a this is a proper heritage sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> heritage sandwich. <laughs> you wanna give it a score out of ten? Oh, nine point six all day long. There we go. Nine and a half, nine point six all day long. I don't really know how it can get a lot better, but the only reason it ain't a ten is because I only got half. <laughs> He thinks it's a squirrel. <laughs> Sorry, brother. He was not impressed. No. Wanted your squirrel at him. Mm. <laughs> That's the funniest video I've ever seen you That's do. That's it? That. That's it? Yeah. No. No. That's, yeah. Bruv. Yeah. That's the funniest video though, he, for me, that I've ever seen Matt do, when Jess is filming him <laughs> and her laugh, she can't contain it. it. If you haven't seen it, go and watch the video of him eating that Strozen, Brobs and whatever mm. it is. You can't, you can't get over him, can you? He was just, I just think it was a, that fella. So that was like half an hour ago and I he's like still just... wind up. Yeah, like he was some sort of like... Uh, like a Ken doll Presentation sort of, of what yeah. he's supposed to be. Oh. It's, he really just wrecked my day, to be honest. See more bicycles in one place than that. Most. Have you ever seen any more bicycles? Wow. That is, honestly, that, that is a really good collection of bikes. Jesus. Really good, Ooh. yeah. All right, you, you, I can handle my own business. Let's get back here on it. <laughs> deflated now, don't get deflated. Mm. I'm, I'm out. Yeah. Any more bike puns, people, let us know. Mm. Ride, ride away in the comments. Mm. Pump it up. <laughs> you, you're treading on thin ice now. Tread, oh, tire treading, tread? Treading, yeah, yeah. tire oh, treading. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. getting tired, mm. I'm getting, I'm getting mm. really tired. I need to You're stop cycling for, through them now. I need to stop for a break. You're cycling through these. <laughs> now let's take a seat, come on. That key's a chain smoker. Oh. oh god. I'm so glad we're walking, bro. Well, the more time you spend, the more you want to know about the heritage, the culture, what makes them tick, the history of history. It's great. It's like when we went to Belfast. Mm -hmm. Been there five times now, and I really, I've learned so much about historical things that have happened there. I think we might do the same about Denmark. Coming back? For sure, bro. For sure, we've done maybe I don't know ten reviews. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna get a hundred more. You should have gone there. You should have gone there. Mm -hmm. So we got it right. Yeah. Sure. Tim, are you gonna come back? I'll come back. It's only an hour and twenty minute flight. It takes me longer to drive to your house. Yeah. Wow. That's so. crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Doesn't quite have the same ring, does it? Should have gone to Louis Nielsen. <laughs> okay. Just talking shop for a second, Kem. Uh, have you got anything coming up with CP that everyone should know about? Any like, new projects? Uh, absolutely. And Is this what in, you were going to tell me the other day? Yeah. So basically, you know that we are specialists in the design and print area. But in the next week or so, anyone that isn't in it at the right time to buy printed stuff, they can go online, CP Packaging Store, buy all your plain bits, all your odds and sods, set up your own profile, click, and your stock will be with you in the next day or so. This is gonna be a big, big business move for us. So uh, very excited about it actually. So what you want, so you, you, you're not moving away from custom print. No. Nope. You're doing that as well. As well. But you're also now selling, yeah. what do you mean the plain, the plain stuff? Like the, your, your yeah, unbranded so, yeah, coffee yeah, yeah. cups and clamshells yeah, and yeah, exactly. so you, pizza boxes? You, yeah. Chip, every, fish and chip boxes? Everything you can think Dessert. of. Dessert. Everything. Capsules. Little sauce pots, cutlery. Ah, everything. Napkins, everything. Because, you know, look, not everyone is ready to go down the custom print route. You know, it could be cash flow, it could be finances, it could be a number of reasons. But, you know, I still want people to start buying from the CP brand, buying into the CP culture, yeah, the amazing. FRC culture. So when is that going to go live then? Soon? 
very very soon it will be announced there'll be a little maybe, maybe even by the time this is if maybe even by the time this video is live it will be it'll be uh, it'll be live yeah and you know <coughs> the plan will be is frc will uh have a little discount code hopefully oh, that'd be nice that'd be there nice you know so your followers and people that you know support your page can uh, benefit well, from ordering from us when we uh when we had our takeaway venture we used to go to bookers and it was a right pain driving there to get our boxes of all this rubbish you get it delivered with you guys that'd be, I think that'd be a brilliant yeah. move so you know whether you're in central london or whether you're in the middle of nowhere you'll be able to yeah, get it delivered via dpd Great. ups like it, it literally is going to be next day service wicked man providing you order before a certain time there you go there you go cp on the move bro congratulations thank you man That's yeah big. yeah it's been a it's been a work in progress for a while but we're, we're, we're nearly there, ready to go. I'm assuming that the custom print is only sort of like, what, 20% of the market? Custom print is probably less than 20%. You know, you're talking 90% plus oh, wow. of, of, of companies out there are still using plain. So this will open you up to 90% more of the market now? Yeah, absolutely. But you're already the kings of the game, aren't you? You know, the most established packaging company there is. So when, uh, this, is a, this is a great move. When it comes to custom print, we've got a massive market share in the UK. We do, it's true. But when it comes to the print, uh, the plain stuff, now is our time to kind of really branch out and make sure everyone, wherever you are in the UK, whatever your position and your journey in the business, you can be part of the CP brand, which also is a wider thing because of our community with you yeah, and yeah, all the yeah. other guys and Wingfest and Gorilla events and everyone, you know? Yeah, magnificent. It's a family. Great. There you heard it, people. You heard it here first. That's an exclusive. CP's now. Um got an e a full e-com of unbranded packaging solutions for your business. Get up. Oh, here we are again. Remember this place like it was yesterday. Right, disappointingly, this happens sometimes. We've got to uh, Fabro, and as you can see, there's uh, people everywhere. Um, I asked about takeaway. Uh, they do do takeaway from the other door, but it's still like half an hour, 40 minute wait. And we've, we're against the, against the clock today. Yeah. So we're gonna miss out on this one, unfortunately. We probably should have come a bit earlier, but that doesn't matter. Um, there's a big hype around this place because it's really affordable, great pasta apparently for the students. Obviously, there's a lot of great expensive food here and not a lot of super affordable stuff. So this is uh, causing a big scene apparently and it's just seen some pasta and people's dishes. It looks Look, wicked. Looks wicked, man. Mm. They, got, they do four dishes only. Uh, great. So we just don't have the time? No. So we've got a backup plan. Go to Refn Island. Lots of food for us to have there. We're gonna do that. We'll try and find a taxi. Might have to go back up the street there, but um, yeah, we had an amazing walk today. It's been br brilliant in the city. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, get in the comments. Let us know. Your contribution would be incredible. Um, Kevin's just dropping the kids off at the pool and laying a cable. And uh, there he is. How was that? Smelly. Not me. The the drains. Mm. It's amazing. You like a husky? Okay. What husky is it though? What husky is it? I don't know, a white one? It's a Siberian, because it's smaller. Oh. Alaskan husky is bigger. I'm learning a lot today. Yeah, well, I told you, dog behavior is qualified, certified. <laughs> right, you two, can we stop talking about doggy styles and figure out where can we get a taxi from? They might even f***ing call us one. Bugat. Bugat. See what I'm putting up with people, honestly. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a prison outing, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Man's trying to stay professional when it's just... <laughs> he's just like, Ali G. Hey, hey let's, watch, watch this, watch what, watch what Kev does. Right, we'll walk there. Go, go. Oh, hold your hand. <laughs> you can't take him anyway. He's an orangutan. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. Right, so we've just got to Refn Island. Now, if you're still watching this now, you probably haven't seen any food for a little while other than the uh, the pork sandwich. Let's go and get some food, bruv. Looks quite cool. Come on. I remember saying it like I was looking at the snake in the jungle book. <laughs> yeah, with the spinning eyes. Yeah. So this was now two hours ago? Yeah, well, why are we still talking about that geezer? He's ruined your day. No, well, in yeah, the, best the reason way possible. we were. <laughs> Hey, talk about out of context filming. We were talking about, <laughs> you've done me so bad there, bro. You've done me so hard. <laughs> So 
Three mixed plates, please. Three? So I can upsell you there. <laughs> Three? Two, Two mixed plates. Come all the way here, and we're still just eating fish and chips. Yeah. Can you say that again? When I used to get told off by my dad when I was younger, one of his methods of punishment was face the sofa and you yeah, could have to see the wall or the wall the wall i mean it's so destroying and you know how difficult it is to stand somewhere for like an hour <laughs> and you, you start swinging <laughs> and you, how long would you be there well as long until i was told i couldn't move bro you yeah. might as well stop me in a kennel bro <laughs> those are the good punishments though they tested your mind and yeah. no, yeah, no sort of abuse like hardcore uh, yes character building I'm gonna make my son hey, face the wall as well. I'm doing good. Video, yeah, quality, you, you okay? Yeah, good man, you. You got any good food? Yeah, not yet, but I will be. <laughs> oh. The fish and chips was underwhelming. Well, Ken after said, you said that you, something you could cook at home. I said we might be in Denmark, but that was shit was from Iceland. I feel the same about some place at Camden Market. You get drawn to the location, and they you can be they can be guilty of serving some of pretty average stuff. But it's okay, you pay it. We had, I, yeah. I enjoyed it. It was alright, yeah. man. It's African food from the Gambia. It's a peanut butter stew. He's going to get a medium chili. You, you do have a killer chili if you want to try it. But yeah, but I'll go get on an aeroplane later, yeah. and I don't want to. That's I don't want to ruin it for everyone else. Peanut butter and sweet potato stew with a bit of chili on it. Packaging shocking, bro. It's all coming through. Right, let's go. What's the verdict, fella? It's lovely, man. He knew it as well. He knew that that was going to be tasty. Yeah, that's lit. It's that really sweet good. potato mixed with peanut yeah, butter is just bloody genius. Last up, pasta. I fancied a bit of a carb, carb dish. That is um, Danish pork cheek, Kem. And we've got extra cheese in here as well. All right, let's go. You enjoyed your trip, Kem? Enjoyed it very much, mate. It's been an amazing experience with you guys. I oh, really enjoyed the trip. That was a good pasta. Copenhagen has got so much class and poise. Magnificent. It's definitely somewhere I would love to come back and spend a bit more time because I'm guaranteed there's loads of places that we could go and want to go and stuff like that. And we have eaten some amazing food as well. We have. It's been the highlight for you? For me, I think experiencing war pigs was amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. And the sandwich that we ate at that random food market we found with Prince where Charming, Prince Charming mm. was for me that sandwich was on mental levels. But it's how, how good looking was he though? Seriously, but well, we're still talking about him now. So this is what four hours? He was he, he was uh, he was breathtaking. I'll put that out there. I'm gonna go viral and get signed by Chanel or something. <laughs> What about the poor bastard after work with him? What, <laughs> Quasimodo? Imagine though? Like, <laughs> Quasimodo. Yeah. <laughs> he embraced it though, innit? He's like, mate, he, he, you could be Brad Pitt and stand next to the skis and you look like a f***ing sausage, do you know what I mean? Um, let's wrap it up. We've got a plane to catch. That was 48 hours in Copenhagen. I thought like we've done a lot. Hugely enjoyable. Kem, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. That was wicked. Hope to do it again soon. If you guys have enjoyed this, or any part of it, let us know. Um, where should we go next? Sweden, Oslo, where, where else? On that note, thanks for watching everyone. Big shout out to Dan, Kem, all you guys watching. We'll see you again very soon.